audio looks well actually audio I should uh, check the filter and make sure that's not doing anything weird and I probably should have done that um, before uh, starting I do have my fan on so we do need to have a, uh, a thingy so let's just set this and that should be a little bit better on the audio okay so twitch looks like it's doing its thing i can do the twitter thing and the discord thing and if you would like to join me live you can do the follow thing over at twitch.tv slash colette mslp uh, So, um, peelies and, oh, these are the peelies. I don't think I've even shown my hands on camera yet. Um, this wore really freaking well with two exceptions, and they're the reasons that I'm, um, uh, taking it off. We've got quite a bit of, come on camera, we've got quite a bit of chipping just right there on my middle nail. Hey, son. And this nail, I'm not sure if you even can tell, this was one of my favorites. Um, the whole tip of it, like, kind of cracked in half and peeled off, and I stuck it back down two days ago, three days ago. Um, hey, LJ. Hello. I'm going to say Brilhante. K. welcome. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Hi, caters. Um, let me, let me finish. Okay, tweet tweet and discord um i know i mentioned yesterday that i would be streaming because i didn't do nails yesterday um but then i like i don't know i just decided i was like you know what i'm gonna stream now <laughs> so i wasn't able to give a uh, a heads up of as i usually as i usually do peanut butter beer Peanut butter beer? I'm sorry, I'm just I'm distracted by Luke's post in Discord as I'm going to make the post. I mean <laughs> I'm gonna have to like my that just like sidetracked my brain completely. I'm gonna have to consider that further at a at a later date when I'm not live streaming. Like I I don't think I've ever drank anything peanut well one time i had a peanut butter jamba juice one time L let me finish discord I, s I see chat moving in in obs and it's too small for me to read because i covered up the chat window okay discord is done yeah, I hope the Peelies do well, too, Amethyst. Hi, Trey Lala. And hello, Lexi. Anybody that I missed, you, got, you guys were ready. Yeah, peanut butter milkshake beer. You guys were ready for the, uh, for the nail stream. Let's zoom in a little bit closer here, actually. If I do that. Oh, come on, camera. Okay, you'll focus on that. But you want to give me attitude a little bit over that. It'll, it'll be okay. Kind of like brilliant. I'll, t I'll try. <laughs> or I'll just call you Brill and try to get away with that. There, there's the man right there. Luke, I went to, I went to post in Discord and I was like, <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, peanut butter beer. And then I'm like, Fully, fully distracted. Fully distracted. Um, we'll need a paper towel. And actually, I was thinking I wouldn't need my camera, but I will because I'm going to record the peelies for... Because I do. <laughs> One day, God, that'll be the day. I will feel such uh, like accomplishment and satisfaction on the day I do literally anything with all the peely videos that I have stacked up. If I got back to posting on Instagram, 
Um, they seem to do pretty well on Instagram. People like to watch them. So I suppose I could do that. Is this the right spot for this camera? I feel like it's mounted just a little bit crooked. No, I guess this is good. Mostly good. Um, yeah. <coughs> I mean, I don't know, because, like, see, the, the thing for me, Luke, with all the flavored beers is if they have that, what I associate as a beer aftertaste, which I think I might have talked about before. I think it's like the phosphites, which is a thing that hops can have in them that just have this weird, like, aftertaste that I'm not a fan of. Oh, God, Nightbot, is it really that time for you to... <sighs> my timing it does it like on an hourly timer not on a stream timer which is a little bit irritating because sometimes it's like i'm just starting stream and nightbot's like hey <laughs> want to use your prime over here um the plan today is to um use cash only which you you can see it's so weird how the corners are like one of the places you can see that like tealish blue and at certain angles it gets even a darker blue like almost a navy this this is one of the kind of odd duo chromes in the oil slicks i think i described it to music gal the other day as like kind of a golden khaki to like navy teal duo chrome like that, those, those combinations just don't feel like they've ever come out of my mouth before. Yeah, I might, I might have to look into that then. Um, cause like the, the thing is certain flavors, I think, um, become associated in your head with their usual texture. And I'm just going to try and find the edges here before I start recording the peelies. And as you see, it's I'm not having an easy time. Like this war, as I mentioned, very good with just a couple of exceptions, which, I mean, I loved it. So I, I was very happy about that. Um, and like peanut butter, you think about being kind of like thick and, you know, stick your mouth together. So like a milkshake is kind of still on the thicker side, but like an actual drink, like a, a, a thin drink, <laughs> if I can call beer that. Yes, Amethyst. Cash only. It's so any, and I know a lot of you guys have this collection now. This one is really a very interesting combination. Hey, Moon. Um... And yeah, anybody that like was not here, when did we do this? Saturday? We did this on stream Saturday. Um, not exactly the original plan. Like the original tests that we had with these colors were uh, like some more kind of traditional looking water marbles. Um, and I was leaning toward going with this. I, I still really like this. I mean, we're, we'll probably have to revisit this later in the summer just because it's just like so clean and nice and what I would consider a very classic rainbow. But then we started like doing things. The spirals. I know, I know everybody was kind of mad. We didn't get to do the spirals, but as cool as they are, like I do still kind of stand by my decision. Cause like a nail sized segment of it, I don't feel like would be as cool as the, as the test strip. And then we have like all these, of the uh of the psychedelic pattern the groovy pattern um oh and these like fancy fancy chevrons too which had a really cool the edge section it reminds you know i finally figured out what it reminds me of have you guys ever seen a bird of paradise flower and it's got these very oddly shaped and fleshy kind of leaves that it's like a rainbow bird of paradise Yeah, I mean, there's some swirls in there, Moon. I mean, not like spirals, but I mean, like, that's definitely like a swirl. Like a swoop. Um, And, and this pattern, like, I still, 
think we have to revisit this with peacock colors. The testing on these were, were really fun. Um, if I, if I keep at it like this, I'm going to need a backup. I'm going to need a backup set of my, uh, whatever forever collection. Uh, cause these are, these are colors from the color club, whatever forever pastel neon blah, blah, blah collection. So let's just do a little bit more. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, moon. Exactly. It was, it was like unexpected and it was like, wait a minute, because I've always like wanted to do a peacock feather design. The edges on this are so secure after, okay, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're on six days or the, the sixth day, I guess you could say. Oh, I had this, this corner peeled up too, actually. I forgot about that. That was yesterday. Will you come back up for me now? Yes. Yes, indeedy. And this is the other one that peeled up and I stuck back down. I'm crossing my fingers. I feel like we're going to get some good peelies here, you guys. So. Whoa, camera, please. Why are you... There. Why, why are you wonky, camera? <clears throat> you know, I mean, I've definitely considered it, Trey Lala. There's not... There's not a, like a teal in the oil slicks, which is what's stopping me from going directly to them because they have been like my go to for everything lately. <laughs> I feel like I've used them so many times. Oh, come on here, Pinky. I really liked your full rainbow. Don't break in half on me. There we go. And this, this is the favorite nail of everything. So please, please don't tear. You're the, you're the best of them all. Ooh, that residue though. That's a, that's a decent peely though. A lot of times I find I either get, it, it sticks like either at the cuticle or at the tip. I'm surprised by how uh, how sticky the base coat is after almost a whole week. And and by sticky, I mean like the residue as I'm peeling it. This one is not going to come off well. Um, And like the residue that it's leaving behind. Oh, there we go. Oh, you surprised me. Like the residue that it left behind on my ring finger. Oh, this was another favorite. So please, please. Okay. So far, so good, you guys. Uh, the pinky is another really nice one. Ooh! Did you hear that? Maybe you did. It, like... I don't know, it was like a, a unsuctioning sound. <laughs> there it was again. If I wasn't recording this, I would, like, try to hold my hand closer to the mic so you guys could maybe hear it. I'll, I'll be quiet when I do this one. No, that one. Of course, then that one wasn't, wasn't loud at all. And this is the one. So when I, if I, if I have a peely that starts coming up or that completely detaches, what I like to do is stick it back down with a regular base coat. I found that like re-sticking it with peel off base coat is not super effective. But, uh, like, a regular base coat will still allow you to peel it up. So, like, we've got all this. It's like a gooey, like, goober. You see? That's, that's base coat, like, residue. So I do actually want to, like, peel as much of that off as I can before I grab just, like, a little bit of polish remover for any of the other parts.
Oh, stick that over there. Actually, I'm gonna need another paper towel. Though. I should just buy a paper towel holder for in here, so it's not just like stuffed in my drawer. A trail of peacock feathers. That sounds beautiful. I've. I mean, there's. There's. <clears throat> To me, I feel like there's so many places where that would be flattering. You know, I've seen them with like the peacock on the shoulder and then the feathers trail like down the back or so many different cute placements. I would love to have a tattoo, but the problem is I just don't know what tattoo I would love to have. So therefore we have zero tattoos instead of like 80 tattoos. <laughs> Oh, good. You did hear it, son. It was a very... I mean, I maybe I've heard that before, but it's not a common thing with uh, peel-off base. Maybe it is if you have a good... We, we've talked about this before. Like, what makes a peel-off base coat manicure wear well? And I really do think there's, like, a lot of things that play into it. I think there's that perfect level of just dry enough before you apply like your base color. I feel like, whoa, humidity and stuff have to play a part. Hi there, Bean. How you doing? You licking your chops. You just you just came from eating or what's up? You just have some yummy, yummy kitty food? Hi, buddy. You've got a lot of, oh, let's, let's move this over here. Yeah. Hi there. <laughs> Looking very satisfied with himself. Alright, so I've got some regular polish remover. I'm going to get the bits that uh, are around the edges that didn't quite peel off. See if we have anything that needs any attention. I feel like I, I need to really look at this now. Yeah, I had a couple... Well, I'm having a little bit of problem with both my index nails right now, where they'll get like little catchy bits that require filing off to the point where now, like they're not properly squoval or mini ballerina or whatever the hell I'm calling this. Um, just cause you know when you got something that you can feel there, you can't just leave it. You got to get rid of it. And now, same thing on this one. This one isn't as bad. And of course, this is the one where you can see in the corner has that uh, peeling place that I'm just waiting to break. I'm kind of surprised that it hasn't yet. Um, I might need, do I need another cotton or just a little bit more polish remover, I think. Oh, and it is once again like hot here. I'm reconsidering my rule of not putting my air conditioner in the window until there's like 90s in the forecast because I don't know it's just it's very if it gets over 80 degrees in here and with like all my electronics and stuff running all it has to do is get within a waving distance of 80 outside and it's like quite warm in here it's really uncomfortable especially when I'm streaming I think that's part of what my problem was last night I was just fucking hot I mean, part of my, I, th there were many problems last night, those of you who were here. <laughs> I must apologize for my general level of saltiness, but I think the heat definitely played a part. I've always been kind of sensitive to heat, but I don't know. I guess it's the first time I really, like, streamed when I was super hot. Super hot, sweaty, gross, also. It's like, I'm not trying to be a, a fashion model up on here, but I at least not like to be like, uh, uh. you know, it's like dripping sweat. Okay, I think my cuticles don't like super suck, but I'll give them a little bit of attention. And uh, push them back just a tad. With, yes, oh my god, a metal tool. Oh, I should have I should have given my warning. If you're a cringer, look away. Cuz yeah, I'm going in. Overall though, I mean, the problems with my index nails aside, I'm pretty happy with how healthy my nails are right now. Like really 
have I not had a break this year? That's that's kind of odd. Um, I mean, you know, usually I have at least one patch, and to not have had any patches for such a long time is pretty impressive. We've had some close calls. We've had some minor breaks that resulted in, like, trims, but we haven't had, like, anything detrimental where we needed to patch it, I don't think, since we did the, uh, the big chop at the beginning of the year. I just, the, I, I can do it. Like, like, look, part of it was, like I said, like when I beat her, it wasn't like, oh my God, what a close fight. Like I beat her with like four health and it's just like, <sighs> how did you sit here and beat my ass for half an hour? And then I just destroyed you. Like that is just a unique, like I would, I would have rather that last fight be like, you know, clutch and one hp and you know oh my god it was so close no wonder she gave me such trouble no you're a bitch hornet and grim child is okay <sighs> i i did decide that i think the next time i speed run which i don't know when that'll be i have i haven't decided how irritated i am but i think i may switch back to all skills for a bit because Hornet is, like, one of my biggest walls. I mean, Coliseums need work and stuff, too, but whatever. Hornet is one of my biggest walls. And all skills... Luke! Thank you so much. Congratulations, Moon Bandit. Moon, Moon Bandit, we're on eight months. We are on eight months. We are close to a Twitch baby, and Luke is closing in on freaking 40 gift subs 38 total gift subs luke top hat santa luke enjoy your uh enjoy your beanies and clarks and cloths and and something else soon i know i say this all the time i think about what the next emotes are going to be like every single day i don't want to just put something in there as a placeholder um I want whatever I upload to be like the real emote. Um, so yeah, I'm also even considering like, I'm like, do I want to just shift a lot of what I currently have into Franker Phase Z and like do more than two new ones with, with the nail polish character? Um, so I just feel kind of like I just have some decisions that need to be made that I have not made yet. But I promise soon, soon, soon. And Moon Bandit, where the hell are you? Say thank you. <laughs> Cause I recall, I recall her telling people that I'm not like calling her up, but I, I just remember her saying that the last time Luke dropped a gift bomb, she was like, she busted out the crow judge. She was like, everybody say thank you to Luke. And then now here he's gifted her a sub. And she probably is like stepped away from her. Oh, it's it's a work day. Is she at work? Well, okay, Moon Bandit, you get a pass if you're at work. <laughs> um, anyway. Um, oh, I, I decided I was gonna switch back to all skills, I think is what I was talking about. Luke with the with the master of distraction, gift sub. Um looking a little bit weird just a just a deep shadow um because all skills i have it's very similar uh build to what i have in uh 106 and it's a much shorter category where i can feel like i'm still doing a run but i'm also still getting in hornet practice without getting super super pissed off about what a long run it is um, and if I actually can, like, pull off a good Hormit fight. Um, oh, Luke, I was saying that I think the next time I speed run, I'm going to, like, not do 106 for a little while. And then I'm going to switch back to all skills because it will give me some, some Hornet practice in a less 
Like, I mean, all skills isn't a short run, but I mean, it's not 106. And so, like, the way you fight Hornet is very similar, except, of course, you don't have Grimchild. Um, but it'll give me some Hornet practice without it just being like, sit here and practice Hornet. You know, still able to do a run. Giving a little clip to this hangnail right here. Stupid mobile, anyway. Mobile mobile frustrates me because it'll be so good. And then as soon as it's like an important moment or something, it'll act up. Or, you know, it'll be fine. And then like, a, you know, there's a host or a raid and it's like, nope, can't handle that. Or my worst is when it won't let me chat. Like the chat just doesn't ever load properly. There's still a little thing though there. There she is. Yeah, ex exactly, Luke. Exactly. Um, cause like I said, I just, I don't have the mindset to practice and practicing the same thing over and over and over makes my hands just mad at me. So I felt like that was a good solution to like not get super already burnt out on 106 when I barely started running it. Where where were you, Moon? Are you at work or were you just AFK? <laughs> I I must know. Making food for your brother. Okay, see, like I said, I can't be. I was I was giving you shit, Moon, because you were giving everybody shit the last time Moon, that Luke dropped gift subs. I was like, where's the thank you, Moon? Yelling at everybody else. <laughs> I don't know. I just 106 has really frustrated me lately because the places that are giving me problems are not necessarily the places I feel like I should be having problems. And obviously it's like, well, it doesn't matter what you feel. That's like the place that you're having problems. But it's like, I don't know. Or like that Coliseum death, that really... You had gone to bed, Luke. I tried to call a one overcharmed. It went... I almost said really well. It went okay. But then I died at the end to the last Gru's mother. I'd killed one of them and the other one just like pulled some moves and like hit me just... And I died. And that just was very frustrating. And I, I killed the run there. Because, like, I've done that fight, and uh, well, the whole Kahlo, not just, like, that fight. I've done that, like, in randos, like, without nail upgrades. Like, you know, w without extra health. Kahlo 1 should not be a problem. I mean, now, like, 2 and 3, I'm not interested in overcharming them. But 1, I feel like I should be able to do. There's there's not a reason why that should be an issue. It's so weird. I'm sitting here pushing back my cuticles and talking about Coliseum. Like, <laughs> and half the people are paying attention to one thing and half the people are paying attention to the other thing and half the people are paying attention to both. And yes, that's more than two halves, just like Man Bear Pig. But like, I don't know. So that just made me mad for many, many reasons. And like I said, I was hot and irritable. And pro possibly just slightly drunk enough to not be helpful. Like, maybe I need to either drink not at all or, like, a whole bunch. <laughs> Man, why do I always... I feel like my, my index and my middle nail grow more cuticle than, like, the ring finger and the pinky. Do the fingers you use more grow more cuticle? Is that a thing? Hey, Sparkly. I think, I think I've been pleasantly surprised how many people are interested in nails and gaming both. <laughs> Moon Bandit, I'm sorry. 
We need we need to get a topic that Moon Bandit can contribute on. Moon Bandit, which which emotes are overused and which are used a lot, but they deserve it. There, we'll we'll have a side conversation just for Moon. Tell me your thoughts on this while I'm sitting here considering what I want to do with my whole emote situation. I hope this doesn't bother anybody. Oh, I'm half off camera. I usually, I don't know. I had decided I wasn't going to show this on camera. And then like, I just realized I was on camera and I was like, oh, well. I try to limit how much I cut like my cuticles and my skin around my cuticles. But like, if there's a hangnaily part, I got to get rid of it. I can't stand it. Am I off camera again? I am. And I probably should just like use cuticle remover. It would make things lots easier, but I've just never used cuticle remover. I'm just, I just patiently go after it. <laughs> I don't even I've seen that one I don't know what it is <gasps> you don't like debated I I love debated actually because it it feels useful in situations other than debated but what I actually I guess I didn't completely phrase my question like when people are making emotes like you know there's you know, there's high emotes and there's cry emotes and there's gasm emotes and there's, you know, like what it like, or there's like, you know, Luke also does not like debated, <laughs> but what else can you use? In those debated moments, I mean, I guess you can just laugh with lull or lol. Because certain things like are overused, but they make sense. Like almost everybody has like a high emote. But of course, because, you know, people want to say hi when they come in and then everybody's just like, oh, I guess I should have a high emote too. But then almost everybody has like their favorite high emote that they use. So do you really need one from every channel? It seems to be quite a bit of butt emotes going around too lately. Although maybe that's just the chats that I hang out in that also have butt bot. And then that like encourages people to use all their butt emotes. They've been your least favorite. Hey, Sacrista. Yeah, yeah, no, I've heard that too, Amethyst, and it's like, <laughs> I don't know. Usually, like, I would do it after washing my hands or something, or like a, a you know, a Zoya cuticle scrub, but even just like a little bit of regular polish remover, like the polish remover, where did I even set it? Like my regular polish mover is this kind okay. from Target. It's like the purple kind. Like after a little bit of that, they are a little bit softer than they are just like sitting around. I don't feel like I need them much softer than that just for like, I mean, I would consider this just basically maintenance, just like a little push and a little scrape. Sounds horrible. <laughs> just a little push and a little scrape. Ah, see, now that's very interesting from an artist perspective. Yeah, I, I, I can see exact. Yeah, you can end up with a lot of like, or no, what is it? The, I don't know. I guess I don't know the Nazi salute. Okay. No, it's the, it's the, this one, right? I, I can see how the emote could unintentionally end up looking like that. Cause you gotta, and then you gotta, and how do you keep it from being like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Hmm. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, there's a little bit of polish in there. We'll get that with acetone when we do our regular cleanup. Um, I am today, I'm using a regular base coat and I'm going to do super duper wrapped up nails because I'm going to try and deal with this shit over the next couple days and wash it. And I like to, uh, like, I don't feel like it's, I'm, I don't spend that much time in water where I usually feel like it's necessary. Plus, I don't know that it would necessarily do anything with a peel off. But, uh, wrapping the underside of the nails with base and top coat, I feel like does really help. Because, like, when I'm dealing with this mess, it, it takes a long time to wash, it takes a long time to detangle, and it takes a long time to style. And that means that my hands and my fingers are, you know, moist, if not fully wet, for quite a while. Wait, a law's on the state depending on cuticle trimming? I think that's true. I think that's true, especially like, uh, yeah, like Sparkly just said. Exactly. And I mean, you, you can fuck yourself up. Cuticle trimmers are sharp as fuck. Your nails are sensitive as fuck. And guess what? Skin's not like super tough. So if you are not being mindful and instead of clipping that little bit of dead skin that's making you a hangnail, you go just like a little bit too deep or at just a little bit of a wrong angle, you're into your flesh. And then, I mean, okay, not to be gross, but guess what? You got to finish cutting that off or you're going to be sitting there with a flap of flesh hanging off, which is also not cool. Um, <laughs> that's why I like generally, but, but if you have a genuine, cute, uh, genuine, uh, hangnail, which I mean, everybody gets hangnails. It happens. You, you have to take care of it. So I definitely would recommend like a, a cuticle nippers over, uh, or just, you know, grabbing at it or like even, even like, uh, if you don't have a cuticle nippers, like for, uh, hangnails, I'd recommend like a, a nail clipper that's got like the flat, blade here what you want to do is you want to get like as close to the skin as possible so that you don't leave any little flap left over oh there we go get off of there and of course cleaning the cuticle off your nails is important because it's a place where the polish isn't going to want to stick and it can impact the life of your manicure and yada yada you guys know this stuff well maybe maybe you guys don't i'm like not a nail technician so i always feel weird on like explaining that sort of thing like I'm I'm just mostly here to show you guys pretty colors. <laughs> not to like teach you. I mean I guess I'm teaching you some things, but not to teach you like important things. You should go to people that actually know about those things for that. He told you to go away, oh no. Oh you missed the salute. Yeah, the, isn't the Russian version the one with the actual little spinny e-file thingy? I know Anna did a thing on that and said it was dangerous. I mean, that's any any extra amount of fucking around in this area is dangerous. And I think, you know, if you know what you're doing, hopefully it's not. I, I don't know. I've definitely seen them on Instagram. I mean, they look like they have, like, no, no cuticle or no, like any kind of rough skin at all around their edges but it also kind of freaks me out a little bit to see it done because it's like <laughs> all up in your tender bits and i am oh sacrista thank you so much i mean i i guess you know that i'm well, i'm flattered I'm also hot and I, it is, it's affecting my brain. Like I literally think it's affecting my brain. It's about the same temperature in here as it was last night. And it's like, it's actually warmer outside. So I only have my room fan on, not the window fan. Cause I don't want to like pull in hotter air. 
But that also means that like there's no there's no source of cooler air at all. Burn with pine. <laughs> I, my mom has cuticles that grow really fast. All right, they're they're not looking like super great. I could still see some little bits of like cuticle down in there, but guess what? Part of it is just that we just use acetone and everything's super dry. I'm I'm not as good as the Russians to get like the polish like shoop up in there, so we don't have to worry about our polish touching that area, anyways. You never touch your cuticles. Flesh is almost as bad as Luke. <laughs> shit, shit. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not. I'm not gonna whisper your least favorite words into the microphone, Sagrista. <laughs> All right, let's we'll put this here. So, um, and this is uh, base two, which is I guess Oont's non ready for takeoff, non peelable base. Uh, I like it pretty well. I've been using it lately because my bonder is almost empty, and I'll just get like a regular amount and do, you know, the nail, and then with what's left over. I'll get the underside and the edges. Basically, just like covering every free spot of nail as much as possible. Oh, my hands are actually a little bit shaky today too, so that's another good reason not to do nail art. Other than just I wasn't I wasn't super in the mood. I kind of wanted to wear this on its own. I kind of don't like doing nail art on Thursday. And I also just was not feeling particularly creative today. I have a couple ideas that I jotted down in my sketchbook that I want to like test, but testing, you gotta be like in the right mindset for testing or it's not fun. Luke. Oh my god, I'm really pink and shiny. I'm sorry. Sorry, you have to look at my completely flushed face. Oh, it's great. It's like, I mean, the fan's right there. You can see the fan. I can feel it. But only intermittently. This is much more like direct to my face. Okay, please don't quote that. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> hey, Doc. How are you? We're just, uh, we're, we're doing nails and talking games. I'm really tempted to, uh, like, shape up this nail, but I'm just going to leave it for now. That's, that's what kind of mood I'm in. It'll look kind of silly on the polish in motion. I really, I love filming Polish in Motion when my nails are just looking like flawless as fuck. It's a good feeling. Um, but, like, I don't, to, to get it to look squared off again, I would need to, like, make it quite a bit shorter, and I don't really want to go any shorter than this right now. So, that's my reasoning. It's like, I literally just went short. Now, like, for my thumb, I feel like my thumb is chubby, so I actually do, like, pull back a little bit on the skin to get under there, on the underside. Luke! <laughs> With the gift sub to Amethyst Kitty, which puts her up to five months. Thank you so much, Luke, and and congratulations. And wait a minute. I'm just reading. I I just noticed that Luke's gift to Moon Bandit was a tier two. Luke, I mean, thank you. I'm, for both, I mean, <laughs> thanks. I think, funny as it is, I think that's my first tier two. <laughs> I have a couple tier threes, but I don't think I've ever had a tier two before. That means, Moon, 
That means Moon, you get access to the to the thug emote. So you are yes, you are very. <laughs> mm. Yeah, is Polly Gel the kind son that's like thick and kind of looks like looks like melted sugar almost? I always kind of think of like it looks like something you could make candy out of. If that is Luke again, what? I don't know. Oh my God, it's Luke. <laughs> Luke, the <to> sparkly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say there was no there was no Santa mid to warn me. Of course, he said he's on mobile. He probably can't he probably can't manage the Santa mid. <laughs> oh my God, Luke! Thank you so much, Luke. It Luke is now at forty gift subs, and that possibility of of the 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 MSLP top hat emote, <laughs> I feel like is so. Oh my God, Luke! <laughs> it must be because it's mobile. He had a, does mobile or or maybe it's because he's he's like seeking people out. These are like specific targeted gift sums. <laughs> Congratulations to Sparkly and to Sacrista. Luke 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 is Luke Luke is very kind. Luke is a good dude. Um, okay, that's very large. I don't know where that truck is going. Oh my god. I <laughs> Or may maybe it's maybe it's just to space out the shock and awe <laughs> so that it's not just in one in one chunk. Luke, thank you. You are you are so nice and kind and awesome and generous and and all these things and more and and words fail me like words fail me pretty often it's like to what level the words fail me i i just i don't know i i mean of course i appreciate every sub but then like there's like extra subs and it me I, I mean i feel like it means like people like me extra much and 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 also it's just like so generous and then it's just like spreading joy which is the whole point of the stream by by spreading bean moats and and clark moats to people that do not currently have bean moats and clark moats so th thank you on all these counts luke i just i there should be more words than thank you but what other words are there i mean there's like a oh oh we know how to say uh Donka Sean. Right? Did I do it right? We learned that, and I don't remember if that's what we learned, but I remember that it means thank you. Who is that? Is that Luke? <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> water. Hi. Hi, Water. I didn't even know you were here, and then Luke gifted you a sub. Welcome to the community of no name the the color therapy community i don't know do i need a name for my community i'm i'm in other streams and people are always like oh it's a subscription welcome to cool community name <laughs> oh <laughs> hmm. yeah exactly water you barely got here luke it luke must be in a good mood today and he just has to share that good mood and really, all you guys, and I, I have to say, Luke in particular, are, uh, shit, there's a fur in here. Um, oh, there, there it is. Thanks, Beanie. Like, a, a part of me was like, you know, just, you know, you need to do your nails, why don't you just sit down and do your nails? And then a part of me was like, you should stream doing your nails, because that's the thing to do, and a part of me was like... And, like, it's been such a nice stream i mean it was a nice not like it's it's hard to like show gratitude without like throwing shade at the same time like the stream was lovely before the gift subs and then the gift subs made it more lovely 
I don't know. Let, let me just shut up and show you guys pretty colors. Look at the pretty colors. This is what you guys are here for, right? That's that's not just shadow. That is color shift. It shifts from khaki gold to kind of greenish to a navy teal. And this is what's going on my nails. This is uh, Color Club Cash Only from the Oil Slick Collection. It is a very beautiful, very, uh, it's very tricky to capture on camera. I'm, I'm getting like a goodly amount of it on camera, but like, it's all this and then, and then some. Aw, oh, water. I hope we can give you a little bit of color therapy and cheer you up. Wait a minute. Once on each thumbnail? Oh, the ge the gel thing. I'm like, wait a minute, what? The peanut butter. <laughs> yeah, the peanut butter beer. <laughs> no one's fault but your own. I, I don't know if I can agree with that. Well, I mean, you do know yourself best, of course. But, ha like, pulling myself out of kind of a bad mental day... I was in a bad spot for no good reason. That might not be the case with you, but the the sentiment remains that I hope a little bit of color therapy will help to brighten your day. Even though we don't have very bright color therapy right here, it's kind of a... If a multi-chrome could be a neutral, this might be it. The confused Nick Young meme. Who is Nick Young, Moon Bandit? <laughs> Should I know this? Who is Nick Young? <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. And chat, I feel like I missed some chat, too, but... <sighs> Wait, what are we linking here? What what is this? What is Moon linking in my channel? Oh, that is that what his name is? Oh my god, that does! <laughs> I've seen that. I didn't know who I didn't know who it was. Yeah. <laughs> Moon man, that's perfect. Just ordered another one. See, now that's interesting to me, Luke, because you said that not your father's was too sweet for you. But the peanut butter beer is is cool. Peanut butter, peanut butter milkshake, y'all. Peanut butter milkshake. Oh, water. I absolutely feel you on that. The hamster wheel. The, the spiral hamster wheel of depression and anxiety that is our brains. Oh, son, I'm glad to hear that. I honestly, watching streams and streaming help me immensely. Like, immensely. Oh. Yeah, um, so, okay, so, so like, when well, a subscription, so Krista, uh gives me some money and gives you some emotes, basically. And Luke has gifted you a subscription. So you can, of course, it's on, on the app, on the TV app. I don't know how hard it is to use emotes. But, uh, yeah, the, there's like global emotes and then there's some that on the TV you probably can't see cause they're through browser extensions. And then there's like my channel's emotes, which are, are Beanie and Clark and, and Cloth. Mm. Yeah. I, I think, you know, it, it's really kind of amazing. I feel like Twitch is, is a place where speaking about mental health is not taboo where it's surprisingly common and if nothing else lets people know that they are not alone in having those kind of days and having those kind of thoughts and having you know that kind of a brain that you know takes that one bad thought and just fucking runs away with it instead of like okay let's take this bad thought and put it here and maybe pick up this other good thought and run with that um which is i, I feel like streaming kind of it makes me focus on this and this is the good thought instead of, you know, whatever nebulous bad thought 
was in my head before. Mm. And watching, too, gives you something to concentrate on, gives you something to interact with if you want, gives you something to zone out to if you want. Like, uh, welcome back, Lexi. I don't know. I, just, I find it very beneficial to me, and I'm really, I'm beyond pleased and, and flattered that I can also, like, give a little bit of that back. No. I mean, see, I, I added, I know I have, like, don't, don't come in here and be a downer in my rules, and I added, like, this doesn't mean you can't come in and be like, man, I'm having a rough day. Like, you're not, you're not usually a person that comes in here and, like, Mur. You know, you're not a Debbie Downer water. Usually we're talking about velveteen bunnies and shit. But this is also like, you know, I mean, I, I talk about it myself very often. Like, you know, shit happens, and, you know, or sometimes not even shit happens. Just in, in your head, it happens. Um, yeah, Luke, 42 gift subs is, I don't know if I can make what face, but yes, it is what face. <clears throat> Yeah, I think in 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 the beginning, um, but like when cell phones and shit first came out, and it depends completely what you're doing on your phone. We want do we want bottle porn here? Ooh. Um, but like yeah, if you're using your phone to connect with other people to to deal with your shit in a way that makes sense to you, like uh, there's nothing wrong with that. That's not a bad thing. <clears throat> yes color injection with positive people and that's the thing like if somebody's having a bad day somebody that's not having as bad of a day can maybe pick them up and then when they're having a bad day then they can come and and receive that gift back or sometimes even if you're having a bad day you can still manage to pick somebody else's day up, and sometimes that picks your day up. You know? <clears throat> Technical problems. I hate technical problems. I'm also, I am trying to like paint my nails, because I'm like, oh yeah, this, this is supposed to be the nail stream. <laughs> We are on our first coat, and we are just regularly applying it and wrapping the tips. These, the one thing I will say about these is that they do apply a little streaky sometimes, but Sesh Feet will even it all out. 95% of the time. I mean, maybe, okay, so when I get mad at the Twitch mobile app, I don't know if it's really the app which or if it's my phone which my phone is so old that i can't use the current version of the app so i'm using an outdated app which i know has to be part of it but i hear people who are on the current version complain also but i guess i'm just usually more on my computer even if i go outside lately i've taken to uh if i if i'm going to be out there more than just a minute like bringing my my chromebook instead of my phone if i'm watching a stream Oh, just straight to black. Yeah, I'm t I'm trying to think of what could cause I mean, I'm not a very computery person, but I have had to deal with computery stuff. That's not proper. Uh several times. And and since it is old, I wonder if it's if it's having a thing where like it's it's having memory issues. Like the RAM gets so full that it can't function. And instead of just like freezing for a minute, like it's actually crashing the whole computer. But that's only, a, like I said, a super, super uninformed guess. Like, I don't consider myself computer illiterate or like scared of technology, but I'm also not like a, a computer pro or like IT. yeah water i'm you know i i i feel you on both of those because sometimes it's like man i feel like i just want to be alone but then when you're alone it doesn't feel good 
So then I, f- I feel like Twitch 2 is a way, I mean, and I've, I talk about this and oh, there's a fur in there in different aspects too, but like, um, you can reach out just as much as is comfortable for you. Like if you're in some situations, it's like once you're there, you're kind of stuck there. Like, like this hair in my nail polish that I apparently cannot get out. Um, and with Twitch, you can kind of reach out and take a little small dose. And then if you want, you could take a little break. You can lurk. You can leave. You can come back later. Like, Twitch puts it all in your control. And I'm very glad that you, uh, you thought my community was a good place to, to, to come to, 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 to hopefully share our mostly trying to be positive vibes. <laughs> Yes, the battle cry of Rumpy. That's also I may I get I never even got to this. I was I was kind of rambling toward this point earlier. I may stream tonight. I haven't decided. Um, especially with as warm as my room is right now, I don't know. Um and if I do stream, I also don't know what I'm going to stream. But maybe tactics would be less rage inducing than Hollow Knight after last night. <sighs> How you fit in the Oh no, water. You're you're a huge contribution to the community. I mean, I don't even know everything that goes on in epilogue. But like no, just from what I've seen. Or do you mean I don't I don't know. Is there like uh official positions? Do you do you need a more official position? Or or want a more official position? Agree, Luke. Twitch is mostly friendly strangers. Spring- sprinkled in, and we're just waiting for this to dry a bit, and you can see how streaky it is. Sprinkled in with a handful of assholes, and possibly even a slightly larger handful of bots than assholes. <laughs> may or may not technically be property of his school district. That is a good way to get uh, like more affordable technology, because school districts upgrade from time to time and then they left with some old shit that but still kind of works uh my mom got her laptop from a guy at her church who's like that kind of a position for a university oh not bad but not well if you i mean if you also, okay so here's my thing and i i try to practice what i preach in this like communication is key like and if you feel like like if they miss misconstrued it or if you feel bad about what you said just tell them be like you know i was in a bad place when i said that to you and i regret it and i apologize oh sacrista this is our our current new camera and do we have the purples here we have some of the purples here and it knows what to do with purple (laughs) this is uh it's a webcam and i still have my tutorial camera separately and it's the logitech brio uh it's 60 frames a second i can zoom it recognizes color properly and the autofocus works most of the time so we can do stuff like this most of the time there we go Whoa, look at those brush strokes. Those will all go away with sesh feet, but yeah. I'm I'm very happy with this one. <sighs> well Yeah. Yeah, well, I, I think there's that, and then there, I, I absolutely understand questioning the online friendships, because it's like, there's, how much friends are we? And you can feel yourself going, like, on either side, like, are we more friends than I think? Are we less of friends than I think? I know I was in an, uh, a stream a while ago, another stream, and a regular hadn't been coming around, and uh, they were like, you know, I, I don't know what to do, I don't know if it would be overstepping to reach out to them, 
or in some cases, like not necessarily have the means to reach out to somebody like some people that I consider to be good online friends. I mean, I don't have their personal real life information if they were to uh, drop off the planet or to, you know, uh, like Barbie was having some problems for a while and it was like, gosh, she hasn't been around streams very often, but I don't know why. And then she came back and turns out she had been in the hospital or stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, I guess I, I give a lot of advice, but I don't know how to not question online friendships other than at a certain point you have to trust your gut. And if it feels like somebody's a friend, then they're your friend. Um, and, and, you know, even real life friendships, maybe there could be that question of, you know, how long would you have not hear from me before you would check in? Okay, yeah. Yeah, and, and I haven't seen her around lately, but I think i'm I'm assuming it was her it was a a barbara i think i've seen her on youtube and i think she's posted a couple times in uh in discord although i haven't seen her in streams lately but yeah i mean i would i would have no means of contacting her beyond twitter or discord and it's like and, and to, to me especially from the streamer perspective it's like you know i i don't know if th there's a line and fuck if i know where that line is but um I think that's kind of common with, with online stuff. Or I remember even Ninja, it was a real life friend, but he had run out of like ways to contact them or he didn't have their current contact information or something. Moon, maybe you remember this. And they were like an old person. And he was like, I don't know what happened to this person. He was, he was about ready to like give me what he knew of their information. Cause they were like in Minnesota and have me like try to track them down. But he eventually got hold of them. Oh, changing meds. I I think meds fuck with their heads more than we think, and people don't even realize some of the time. <sighs> hey, Mr. Shredo. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Shredo. Yeah, stuff like that. And we've kind of gone along on, on this subject before, too. Like we said, like, you know, what if somebody's having a heart attack on, you know, streaming? What are you going to do? There's nothing you can do. And sometimes that's like super hard to accept. You know, and hopefully that sort of thing doesn't happen. But yeah, if you, uh, uh excuse me. Okay. I have no excuse for that. I've been drinking water, <laughs> but I just didn't have a free hand to even like, um, you know, I suppose that's that's another one of those things that people just don't even think about until like it comes up in this digital day and age of like having something like that, you know, in in your will or in your final shit. Like, hey, please post here that, um, you know, let let people know what happened. I mean, not, not exactly along the same lines, but kind of like when my grandma just died and, uh, a couple days after that, it was her birthday. And I saw people posting birthday wishes on her Facebook page who, who obviously didn't know yet. Um, so yeah, I mean, I don't know. Online has changed how certain things need to be dealt with that that took like a real serious turn <laughs> sorry you guys <clears throat> but so, some of them have that as a side effect too water that's the scary part like if you're suicidal take this except it might make you more suicidal <laughs> yeah yeah amethyst that was that was a pretty serious thing too. And I mean, that could have obviously gone much worse. I mean, that was when, it, whenever I look back at pictures of that, I'm like, holy shit. Like the whole, the whole back end of my regal was crushed. And I mean, I spent most of the evening in the hospital getting scans and stuff, but I luckily was not injured. I mean, I could have been super 
messed up in that. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, and it's it's one thing to know that water, and it's another thing to go through that. You know, or to try when when you're in the midst of this of it to like judge like on, on a scale of you know how how good or bad am I or where am I you know am I am I continuing to get worse or is this turning around and actually you know doing what it's supposed to be and helping me get better. <laughs> That's got to be tough. <clears throat> yeah, I th I think water, I mean, I hope, you know, not to throw my my own interpretations on on your mental state, but I think the fact that you recognized that, you know, your urge to be alone was maybe not a healthy urge. Um and that you did reach out, that you came over here, is a good sign. And like I said, I hope. I hope we are helpful. Oh my god. There's something in my eyelashes. And my nails are almost all wet. Okay. Um. Oh. <laughs> Oh, I actually got an eyelash there and everything feels better now. Well. <clears throat> yeah, what Luke said too. And we are, I mean, one of the things that I, I mean, I only could take limited, limited credit for it, but I pride myself on how supportive this community is. Like in whatever situation. Like, from the smallest, like, oh my god, this boss just killed me in Hollow Knight, to, oh my god, somebody just died. Or somebody's, you know, got serious medical issues. Like, you you guys are awesome. And I've, I've got something in my eye, it's not a tear, I swear it's still just like an eyelash. <laughs> uh, that, that was a passing, a passing thing. Well, I guess you could always say that, but, um yeah hey ninja we are uh, we are all having a time and we are all trying to just get through shit and and somehow we are together with the power of friendship kappa not kappa i mean it's i it sounds it's like the cheesiest line of ever you know whatever story but i mean yeah, the power of friendship, the power of community, the power of just having somebody that's not, like, dismissive, you know? Sometimes you just need to be heard. That can be very helpful. That's one of my triggers, I guess you could say, if I don't feel heard. <laughs> can be very, like... Yeah. <laughs> the cozy chicken, yeah. Hey, Madeline. You should, Ninja. You're not exempt. Just because you're a fancy doctor doesn't mean that you don't have feelings like everybody else probably more feelings i mean you were talking the other day about how doctors and medical students have such a high rate of you know depression and suicide <clears throat> yeah i i agree trey lala from from both sides um you know, like, like i've said i i feel as a viewer it can help me and as a streamer it can help me and as a streamer i also get that added like bonus of feeling like I'm helping other people even if that's only like a small small thing even if it's just a simple little pleasure sometimes the simple little pleasure is all you need to make your day feel better you know the the number of times people have come in and said oh my god I'm so glad you're streaming I had such a shitty day it's uh I don't know feel feel good stuff 
<sighs> yeah, I mean, some doctors are like, you know, like, like, no, I mean, do you really want somebody with no emotions treating you? Like, that's not cool. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, SSD Ninja is in fact not a ninja. He is in fact a doctor. And Dr. Crotron is in fact not a fake online doctor. He is a real life, serious sort of in your head doctor. Um. <laughs> I, I see FFZ. Yeah, he's a super stealthy doctor ninja. Um. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, feel feelings kind of suck, honestly, because <laughs> they're very. Uh, I mean, there are the people. If if you're a person that can just be like, I'm going to be happy. Like, p props to you. That's not how it works for me. Like. But also, and we've I feel like I keep saying, and we've talked about this before, like, uh, like I said about picking up which, which thought your brain picks up and runs with, um, kind of same thing with emotions, like which emotion your brain picks up and runs with. And in some cases, like which emotion you lead it to, like if you're in a bad mood or if you're sad or depressed, well, shouldn't say this in all cases, because sometimes when you're depressed, it just doesn't matter. Like nothing is nothing is awesome anymore. Like everything sucks. But sometimes when you're depressed, the things that you love are still awesome. But it can be very difficult just to jumpstart yourself to those things. So like being aware of it to the point, um, you know, like recognizing it and forcing yourself like whatever that happy thing is going for a walk getting on twitch as a viewer or as a streamer or going in your garden and pulling weeds or sitting down and having a binge marathon of friends like fucking whatever makes you happy even if you think man there's no way i could possibly be happy right now honestly try it like you might surprise yourself sometimes all your brain needs is like a little that looked like a punch. I meant for it to be a nudge. Maybe a punch will also work. Um, but just like, you know, a little encouragement in the right direction. And it'll... Who, wait, who's got a test? And damn it, the eyelash is back. Okay, let's try this again. What is this little fur? Where did you get pulled off of? Oh, that's that one I pulled off of the brush. I'm gonna have to, like, go look in the mirror very closely. I feel like I have a bean here that like when I blink is like caught between my upper and lower lashes and sometimes it's okay and then I'll blink and then it's not okay again <sighs> yeah I just I mean hold on and I feel like I've missed a, a few chats but I think I think most of you are agreeing with me <laughs> I hope so. I mean, I hope that's why you're watching. It's not like, oh, what's this dumb bitch rambling on about? Like, I, I, I feel like what I'm saying resonates with a lot of you. And, uh, oh, like I said, that's, that's a good thing, I think. Yeah, and some of it, I mean, like, like, your body is made up of chemicals. And some of it, like, literally is not something that you can friends binge watch your way out of Luke <laughs> Luke Luke <laughs> Oh my god Luke <laughs> I changed the alerts too so we get a we get one for everyone, because when Luke dropped the big bomb before, it just showed that he had done it, and then it didn't show one for everybody, and I was confused, and so I changed it. And Luke, Luke has already been very busy today. Um, thank you. Oh, 
kind of especially like during this conversation like god from uh video games to mental health all while doing nails um <laughs> um i'm 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 glad this resonates with you guys like i said i feel like you know people are like man nobody gets it and nobody does exactly get it but more people than you ex than you expect kind of get it um you, um <laughs> Thank you, Luke, and uh, welcome to Mrs. Shredo, Madeline Bright, Prismatic Sky, Snopekip, and Brilliant K. Um, and, and like, chat scrolled away with the gifts and... <laughs> oh, thank you, Madeline. That is Beanie. He is a very sleepy boy today. Make sure to keep him... In, in line there and now you have emotes of his adorable face <laughs> mm. yeah and and you know not to compare mental health to speed running but it it is very i i feel like there are some similarities because when you're when you see a friend that's depressed you want to do like whatever you can to make them feel better and when you're depressed, sometimes you feel like you just want to be left alone, even if you know that that's maybe not the healthiest thing. And when you're a speed runner, when, when you're watching someone else speed run, like you can see the frustration. And you just want them to see that even though maybe they're behind, like they're still good. But like as a speed runner, you just feel like you suck. Even if you were watching somebody else, you wouldn't think that they sucked. Speed running and mental health. That seems like it could be a thesis. Somebody, one of our doctor people, they write, write a thesis. <laughs> yes, Lu, Lu, Ma, the moon bandit. So now you have given the Clark emo like a secondary meaning because Luke already has decided that Clark is the it's okay emote because he looks like he just wants you to feel better. I guess the the what'd you call the meme? What's the boy's name? Nick Young. The Nick Young meme would be like uh. Um, almost like what's wrong instead of it's okay I don't know just the question mark I mean is there is there a name for it beyond the Nick Young meme yeah that that's also and it's like something ninja where it's like oh perfect time to be waiting around for something like no that should be Oh, God, the insurance topic. Yeah, Luke. Exa yeah. Yeah. And I feel like there's a quote in there, too. Like, I, for I forget the quote that I'm thinking of. But, yeah. Yeah, that, too. And I feel like it would be it might be difficult to even recognize if you're not a good fit or if you just are doubting yourself to the point where you're like well maybe they're a good therapist and i'm just a bad patient i feel like there's probably a lot of mismatches out there because a lot of patients don't have the to be like you know what i don't like you therapist i want a different therapist I know, Moon Bandit with these long, long links that she only gets away with because she's a mod. <laughs> well, I mean, just say so. Like, like I said earlier about the communication water, I bet you have at least one friend that would be like, okay. <laughs> you know, would you do it for them? I, I hope you have at least one friend that would be willing to take a little, a little, uh, I, I don't know if attack is the right word. I know what you mean, but attack sounds like really bad. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, look, I mean, like, okay, so, like, basically everybody in here has said that to a degree or another, they suffer with a little bit of depression and mental health issues. And I feel like, you know, we're, we're not, okay, we're, we're a little bit weird. We've discussed this before. Weird is not bad. But I don't think we're that weird of a subsection that this is that rare. It's just that people don't talk about it in, what you call it, polite society, whatever the fuck that means. I guess, like, on a day-to-day, you know. But somehow here, it almost is like a day-to-day. Maybe not every day, but, uh... <clears throat> I don't know. I, and like I said, I feel like that's just a little bit... I mean, it's not like, oh, yay, everybody else is depressed. But it's like, oh. Okay. It's, it's not, you know... It's not the weirdest thing ever. It's not the end of the world. It's something that most people deal with on one level or another. And it's nothing to be ashamed of, certainly. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, Poisonous. That's what we were... I mean, we... we, I mean, we kind of went from Hollow Knight to this and then have been on this for a while, and I'm sure probably by the end of the stream we'll be back to Hollow Knight again. But I was saying how I feel like it's... Twitch is in a in a very real way helping to kind of destigmatize it because I'm not going to say it's easy to talk about cuz it's not but it's certainly not, I I feel like it's not uncommon to have mental health conversations on Twitch not just like my channel like in other channels that I've been in too <clears throat> God damn it. I'm trying not to drip all over everything. Can you see how much condensation is on this bottle? See that drip right there? <sighs> it's too fucking hot. It is 83.4 degrees in here and I am not happy. <sighs> Let me take that away. Yeah, well, there's that, too. And maybe that's why people don't want to talk about it in real life. They're like, oh, my God, what if my boss knew I was depressed? Oh, does he, Madeline? That's that's uh, my favorite game. I play a lot of that on here, too. Oh, okay. <sighs> I, th- I think, too, like, the 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 story of having a bad experience is not an uncommon story and it turns some people off like me toward even like making that effort like i would rather attempt to get my shit together on my own than put myself out there for the possibility of having a horrible experience okay that's a little better Yeah, no. You you can control your thinking to a degree, but it's not I mean for me it's not. Like I said, if you if you are a person that can just be like bing happy I, I don't I don't even know if I would say I'm envious, but I mean more power to you. It it seems emotions are not a logical thing. Like that's why they're emotions and not like thoughts. Does that make sense? So to think that you can think your way into an emotion is kind of silly. It's not impossible, but it's not just like, oh, just press press the happy thought button. Oh, that's messed up water poisonous i know okay so the thing is back back to the ac (laughs) for anybody that doesn't know i i'm upstairs i have a window unit i like having my window open while i can obviously once the window unit is in there i'm not gonna be opening that part of the window anymore i can still open the top but like so i try to put it off and my usual criteria is three days in a row of 90 degree weather well okay we're in the 80s and i'm like not comfortable (laughs) 
<laughs> but spot. Shame on you. No butting into this conversation. <laughs> yeah, no. No bully butt spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad water. I mean, it could look, it could be the dumbest shit possible. If it makes you laugh when you were not in a laughing mood, it's good. Like almost without exception. <laughs> well, let me I I always catch myself saying stuff in this like broad generalities, then it's like could be something really horrible. Let's put an asterisk. <laughs> Mm. yeah son i know that feeling you thought you thought you had mutual friends and then you break up and you realize they in fact were not mutual friends i i feel you on that um <laughs> yeah of all the people that we used to be mutually friends with i only speak to one of them and that is the friend that was my friend before he was in the picture the one that I often refer to as my one IRL friend. I guess I I have more friends now, but I don't know. I I wish I could see more of you guys in real life. Hopefully that doesn't sound creepy. But like, oh my God, there's a bug that just landed on my miracle mat. It's like a very large gnat. The fuck. Um, die! Ew! Aww. Ew, it's stuck! Oh my god, it doesn't wanna... Ew. Okay. <sighs> Wait, what did I... I, need... I feel like I need to make chat, like, bigger so I can see more of it. Hmm. <sighs> trouble constant insomnia man insomnia <laughs> yeah that that is i guess that is a little bit weird i don't know i, I don't have much experience <laughs> i can say i am not friends with my ex anymore we were for a while but yeah no it kind of turned into a clusterfuck <laughs> mm. yeah yeah and that's frustrating too if you reach out for help and then it's like turns out to actually not be very helpful Hopefully they were just, <laughs> sounds really bad to say, hopefully they were just incompetent and not just fully dismissive. Like, <laughs> they didn't just blow you off, they just were not properly equipped to uh, diagnose or help you. But it feels like somebody in that sort of, of, a, of a position should have training to be able to recognize, like, warning signs or... I don't know. Okay, so you can already see how Seshvit is like turning that like way smoother. Like look on this hand where we don't have any Seshvit yet. Oh, come on, camera. Oh, come on, camera. Whoa! Oh! Oh, you're already dry enough. I touched the bottle. It did not smudge me. Camera, please! Okay, so the one thing we do have trouble with with this camera who is asking for us Krista. um very shiny things seem to be hard for it to focus on See, it like flashes in focus and then out of focus there i was just trying to show the brush strokes and how these are smoothing out and they'll continue to smooth out as the sesh dries 
Inuyasha memes. Wait a minute. What else did I miss? Oh, wait. Trey Lala. I, th I think everybody else is okay. Somebody tell Trey Lala. Oh, you already did. This is this is what happens when you don't keep up with, with chat. Yes, and Dr. Crotron suggested refresh, which was I was going to suggest that he suggest. <laughs> I suggest that you suggest the suggestion that was suggested earlier. All right. And if anybody wasn't here, I'm doing like a super good wrap job on my nails, including the underside, because I'm planning on being immersed in water. So we're using a regular base coat instead of a peel off base coat. And I'm wrapping the underside of my nails with the base coat and now with the top coat. So that's in addition to wrapping like the tips and the sidewalls like I usually do. And basically it just like even if you if you if you have naked nails, oh come on here camera. If you have naked nails, your nails can be we'll call it vulnerable to like water exposure. Um even if you have your nails painted, usually you've got the underside of your nail that is still naked and vulnerable. So by carrying the base coat and the top coat to the underside of your nail, I mean you still have like the spot where your free edge like literally comes out of your finger. Um, but you basically minimize the places where water can get in and weaken your nail. And, uh, like if I wore manicures for longer or, and, or if I had more exposure to water, I would probably always paint my nails like this, but I don't. So I don't. And peelies are so fun. I mean, I'll be sad not to have peelies of these. Most of the oil slicks that we've worn solo, we unfortunately don't have peelies for. Wow, that was really cool. I was, I don't think, I don't know if the camera caught that. I had such a big drop of top coat that when I looked through it, I could see the multi-chrome, the other color of the multi-chrome refracted in it. Okay. <clears throat> <sighs> short eyebrows are a medical tip off yeah I was gonna say I mean you know under all this flawlessness my brows are short but it's cause I was a 90's baby and I tweezed the fuck out of them now they won't grow back even though I never tweeze them <laughs> so sad girls don't fuck with your eyebrows you you children born after the 90s thin brow fad count your blessings ooh yeah those can be those can be a little bit dangerous water i have heard that birth control can help like uh what is the word keep them from getting worse suppress mm. Mm. So, now that our nails are painted and super shiny, the camera is having a little bit of trouble. So what we're going to do is turn off the autofocus. And then we can just move around a little more freely without worrying about it. So this is the left hand, which I top coated first. This is the right hand I just finished top coating. Can you guys see the difference in the, in the shine and the lack of brush strokes on this hand? Like, I, I know it's subtle. I know. But I think it's noticeable. Especially, like, even just if I put the middle ones right next to each other, this one has been top-coated longer than this one, and it's smoother. Um, as Sash V dries, it continues doing that until, like, if you've seen any of the polishing motions that I've done, you don't see any brush strokes when it's done. <laughs> any poo? Uh Man, I I wish, I mean, I wish I knew then what I knew now. It really, it really was all kind of an accident. 
Like, I have a scar in my eyebrow, and I was just like, you know, insomnia one night, the shit that, the, the unintended side effects of insomnia. And I got in the mirror, I was like, what if I, like, arched them high enough that you couldn't see the scar anymore? And so did that, and then, like, did the other one, and then was like, well, what if I, you know, and then, like, by the end, it was like, oh, no, what have I done? <laughs> and, like, yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Cab, like, Beanie does that he'll go and his paw will grab like right like in my cleavage <laughs> yeah you furry boy Clark also he is the sweetest boy if you're upset he will just come and get like practically right in your lap pets pets are awesome like even if you don't have anybody else around your pet will be there yeah I think my nails are dry enough to pet the tummy. You're so comfy stretched out here. So you can tell how hot it is, because Beanie's just like, ugh. Let me just stretch out here. Ugh. They won't grow back at all, man. I feel like that's, I mean, I have eyebrows. I mean, these are, you know, enhanced. But I have eyebrows when I don't have any makeup on. But like, yeah, I can relate, because like, they just won't grow. I'm like, okay. You know, once I realized, like, you know, <laughs> let, let's try to get these back. Like, I stopped tweezing them, and it's just like, they just, so? There's nothing here to tweeze, bitch. Um. <laughs> Owning pets. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I mean, there's a couple real good memes on that, too. Like, uh, you know, it's this small creature, and you guys don't speak the same language, and yet somehow you're just best friends. Like, Yeah. I mean, they're not, okay, so, like, they're about, like, the width that they are, like, here, but they're sparse, and there's not much tail. I mean, I don't know. They're, 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 they're not the worst, but, I mean, you, you probably won't ever catch me streaming without drawn on bras. <laughs> I'll put it that way. Hmm. <laughs> like stop that <laughs> cat therapy <laughs> mm -hmm. wait a minute what what was that about oh my god chat is too fast oh yeah the claws yeah the the hard part about pets is you know losing them of course but worth it I think my uh my mom could never have any pets as a kid because when their one pet died all the all all her and her brothers and sister were so sad that my grandpa was like okay no more pets ever because they were so sad but of course you know i i always i i can't imagine not having a pet it's just like you have to each pet is a little different when you get to that point and you don't want to like rush it but then at the same time like you don't want to like wait too long because to me it's very weird like last year a little bit earlier than this time when dude died and we didn't have a dog in the house it was so weird and sad and like you you have the sadness of losing your pet and then the sadness of not having a pet they're like very close but they're like different sadnesses mm. Time to celebrate with Stardew. Wait, what are you... What are we celebrating? Did I miss something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I know, like, my cat, my cat before Beanie. Some of you guys remember Frisky, because she would appear in, in videos from time to time. She was 22. I had had her since I was 10 years old. And that was super hard all the dogs too and dude was like so unexpected that was particularly kind of tough guys we're back on sad things again we can't end the stream on sad stuff somebody please bring up a happy topic <laughs> other than my fabulous nails which can we get the oh there it is 
khaki gold to navy teal. That's not a shadow, that's the color. That was a shadow, that's the color. <laughs> Officially done with third year. Are you on your break now, Ninja? Congratulations. Mm. Have face for world pure. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. Yes, the Barney nipples. There are there are many kinds of Barney nipples in the chat right now, which is my sub badge, which is supposed to be, you know, which is a water marble bullseye, but yeah, also kind of looks like a Barney nipple. So now Clark's emote is the okay emote, the confused emote, and the are you high emote? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, that's too bad. Athelus, hello. Yeah, and I... Okay, so are you guys... I, I don't know. Nobody said anything before. Do you see how the, the two hands look more similar now? Like a more similar level of uh, chromy shininess and not a lot of brush strokes? Like a very, very much smoother than when I first did it. And like right there on the ring finger... You can kind of still see that little shadow. I wonder if that one will settle out. But I think most of the rest of the ones you can see will settle out as Seshvit. Like Seshvit is dry. Um, If you were to... <laughs> it's not dry. But by the time it is dry, it'll be even shinier. Oh. Once again... Trying not to drip on myself because we got condensation. Oh no, the condensation's almost gone because the water's not very cold anymore. Mm. Oh, they actually did it. I I saw that on the on one of my news feeds, son, but I didn't think it was like super close to happening. So many states have done it now. It's like fucking just accept it, I guess. Rest of the rest of the states. Psst, psst. Um, <laughs> zero food discussion. Well, I can tell you that for dinner I'm having pork chops and mac and cheese. Once I uh, once I cut stream here. Hmm. <sighs> As of one one twenty, you can legally purchase. Boy, people gonna be scrambling to get those uh, dispensaries registered. <laughs> oh, chocolate for chocolate. Well, isn't that true? Doesn't chocolate like release some some good feeling thingies? Dark chocolate, especially greens. There's okay. There's maybe a squash. The squash is very old. I'm skeptical if the squash is still edible. You know, squashes are. You know, they're meant to, like, make it through the winter. This one actually did. Well, it, squash isn't green, but, I mean, it's a vegetable. There there will be a vegetable. I'm not sure what the vegetable is going to be, though, because I'm skeptical of the squash. Right, Poisonous? That's the thing. That's how I figure every state will be legal eventually, because they're just not going to be able to turn down the money. I mean... Minnesota had a thing, and I was like, okay, you get points just for the name. Pot for potholes. Like, do you know how nice our roads would be if they just started selling weed and put all the taxes toward the roads? Okay, Republicans, you don't want a gas tax increase? Fine. Just just sell the weed. Fix the roads. I mean, we've had a bridge collapse here. How can you fuckers still not want to fix the road? Okay. <laughs> we were going in a happy direction. Let's not go off on that rant. <laughs> I mean, it might be okay, water. I've eaten very old ones before. I mean... <laughs> paved in gold. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we have medical in Minnesota, but I guess it's only oil. You can't smoke it. Which is like, who came up with that? And why? I don't know. Yeah, solar roads. 
Mm. Well, that too. And the interesting thing on that is, I mean, a lot of the states are legalizing it now, but the only state that I recall seeing a news story about them uh, retroactively decriminalizing it was in California. And maybe some other states have gone or will go that direction. But just imagine sitting in jail for some shit that's now legal. Like every state should go back. I don't know how many years and like all these people that are like in jail for personal consumption and personal possession, like, hello, we, like really let these people out of jail. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Ninja. Seriously. I mean, Yeah. The whole, the, the, the incongruity and unevenness of all of it is like, hello, like, yeah, some places it's just like, what? I don't know. It's like they, they watched that reefer madness and really took it seriously. And if you've not seen that, like go watch it. Cause it's like old school, old school panic propaganda. And it's kind of hilarious, except like, it's not because apparently like some people really took it seriously. Hmm. We, we have dropped a few frames. I'm not sure when. If we're ever, like, dropping frames, you guys let me know, because I'm still a little bit skeptical on my internet after that one day, and I'm not very good at paying attention to it. Uh, we're green, but we've dropped 1,191 frames. I want, I wonder, you know, I, I'm not, like I said, I'm not a computer person. I'm also not an internet person. Like, how does internet work? Am I having worse internet because it's summer vacation and kids in my neighborhood are trying to use the internet? <laughs> Get off the internet! Um. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if you were, you know, illegally smuggling and selling and all that shit, like, I mean, that's a different level because, you know... <laughs> But, like, if you just, like, all the, you know, these people that get pulled over and got a roach in their ashtray or whatever the hell. I mean, I know they're not all that innocuous, but I don't know. Seems, seems a little bit silly. Seems a little bit silly. The ed edibles are kind of scary. I agree with you, Moon, because they apparently take so long to kick in. And it's like, you know, you're supposed to, like, I, I don't know, eat some and wait. And see how it affects you. But then how long do you wait? What if you just sit there and eat it because it's delicious? And you end up all like... And, and two... Like, okay, of course, be responsible if you're in a legal spot and you got your delicious weed edibles. But like, pets getting them or kids getting them. Like, okay. It's not for kids or pets, obviously. Mm. Yeah, the oils for pain relief... All that stuff. Yeah, the edible gummy bears. How how many pot gummy bears do you eat to get... <laughs> like, I would want to just... They're gummy bears. I would just... I guess you would have to have, like, the pot gummy bears and then the regular gummy bears. And eat, like, your however many pot gummy bears. And then go sit your ass down and make sure you have the regular gummy bear bag. <laughs> mm. Yeah, exactly, Ninja. Mm. Moonshine gummy bears. I think I would like to try that. I I feel like that's just how I like my alcohol, is fruity and sugary. <laughs> Do they come in lemonade? Le lemonade is my preferred vehicle for liquor, for those who don't know. <laughs> Yeah, that seems weird, son. I we're we're just sitting here. We're we're wrapping up shortly here, but I don't I don't know. I don't want to I I really like hanging out with you guys. Yeah. People all 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 the legal states seem like they got a, got a bunch of tourists up and and things that are like targeted just at the tourists. Oh. Or were you mean medical tourism? Like, let's go to Canada for cheap insulin. 
Apple pie munch. I actually have tried that before and it is delicious. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm hot. It's almost 84 in here. I mean, I know 84 isn't like super hot. It's also humid. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? When did that quote get added? I didn't even see that. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Ooh, lemonade. Yum. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, mid mid 70s is where I would be aiming once I get the air conditioner in here. I like I said I'm that's another thing I may do while I have these on. I almost always break a nail when I put the air conditioner in. I try to be careful. It's not that complicated. Somehow I always manage to break a nail. But I also often wait like until it's hot as fuck and I'm sitting there like, "Get in there so I can turn you on." So I'm not going to do that this year. I'm going to put it in soon. Of course, it's going to be really hot tomorrow and Saturday. We'll see. Soon, you guys, my air conditioner will be in and it'll be a little, like, cooler in here. Now, I know, son, it would be it would be a little different outside, like a little bit more of a natural breeze instead of my, my fan, which I hate. I hate this fan. I hate my window fan also, even though it's not on. Side note. <laughs> <laughs> yeah air conditioners are heavy it i mean it's a small one but they are heavy birthday oh my god birthday you know what else is really good in birthday cake flavor cookie dough which i'll know about that you know how much willpower i have to play not to go like buy cookie dough every single day because there are places around here that sell cookie dough just for eating <laughs> I mean, yes, but also no. I don't know. I'm not a doctor. Like, the one part of me is like, well, calories are calories. But, like, the part of me that's a fat girl is like, well, all calories are not created equal. Because, like, it just doesn't work that way. birthday cake milkshakes i would be down for that or no now i was gonna make a joke and then i realized this probably exists birthday cake beer luke if you're still here can you confirm i know you are our uh frou-frou beer expert <laughs> is birthday cake beer a thing <laughs> good job butt spot <laughs> Okay. Hmm. Yeah, and we're and most of us don't know. We have a few educated ish people in here. Educated ish. Educated. Not educated ish. We have doctors and nurses and stuff in here. Okay, so the thing that's that's gonna make me wrap up stream is not the fact that I've been done with my manicure for quite a while now. It's the fact that my bladder is super full. And uh I need to go take care of that. So, I think, I think, what do we got going on here? Mm, 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 mm. I think, I haven't gone and hung out with Toby for a while, so I think I'm going to send you guys over to him. Oh, I've got an ad. And if you would like to participate in a raid message, it's just too good to pass up his stream title today is my name not jeff so raid message is obviously hi jeff <laughs> um i'm i'm so glad all you guys stopped in if anybody new is here and you want to join the discord uh there's that i'm gonna get this raid going <clears throat> um feel free to come hang out Super cool glass blowing. 
super cool community. Um, I'm going to have some dinner and then I'm going to see how I feel. I'm going to see how hot it is in this room. And, um, I, I might be back this evening. I'm, I'm going to say 50, 50 chance, but, um, I want to thank all you guys for helping me out today. And if I helped any of you guys out, that's awesome. I want to thank Luke once again for all the gift subs. And, um, yeah, you, you guys are an awesome community. I had a very good stream. We got some awesome nails. We had some serious talk. We had some fun talk. And, uh, yeah, go, go ahead and we can, we can use ninjas. Ninjas got us our raid message there. And, uh, I hope you guys all have a good night, whether or not I see you later. And if I don't see you later, I hope I'll see you like this weekend. We'll do, we'll do something nails. And, uh, <laughs> Ninja. <laughs> oh, um, yeah. Thank you guys. And, uh, see you later. Yeah, yeah, I've, I've had, had a, um, a snub, a snub nose, nose for a while. while. I've got, got a 38 30 special, special that I like pocket carry. carry. When it's, it's too, too hot, hot to carry my full size. Cool. Thank, Thank you very much for that nose. How are you today? <laughs> oh, of course, hey, if you're baby. watching on YouTube, if you'd really like to join us for easy. talk of food and life and Where's mental health. Bad? And other fun stuff and other streams. Um, come follow twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP or YouTube stuff over here, including archives of every live stream. So, as always, to you as well, have a good morning, afternoon, or evening, and thanks for watching.